Okay guys, so today we're going to look at the Terragator TG8300B from SpecCast. This is a 164th scale vehicle, but it's very large, so it probably doesn't look like it's 164th scale. Um, there you can, this is the only place that it says SpecCast on the whole box. Um, so, box is kind of got some wore out places in various parts of it. There's a picture of the real um, truck on the side there. It's a very large, very large vehicle. Being from Indiana, we farm country, we see these things quite a bit. Aha! I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. The plastic thing's got tape. Looking at the copyright on that box is the best I can go by. This thing is from... 2015 or 2016 somewhere in that realm so it's still pretty new I'm sure you could get these Got a tie around it because it's yes, it does. I don't have too much stuff made by Spec Cast, but um, I know they're very nice and generally they're very expensive. Now, I didn't buy this new, I bought this in a large lot with a bunch of other stuff, so it wasn't near as expensive as what it would have been normally. Actually, it was extremely cheap compared to what it would have been normally. It's got an $80 price tag on the box, but I would never pay that for something this small. I just kind of feel like that's a little ridiculous, no matter how nice this thing is. And if it's a spec cast, I'm sure it is quite a nice model. Albeit it might be a little flimsy because it's so detailed. Well, we're about to find out. So something I would not have guessed is that it does roll really well. And our little front wheel here does steer. Put together with screws. <clears throat> it's mostly die cast. Let's angle the camera down here. It's kind of stuck. I don't really want to lay that on its head, but we will. So it's got some tanks down here. You can see the drive axle. And then it says spec cast back here. It's got little mud flaps. This little hook here moves. I don't suppose the top comes off, but it might. Nope. It is a separate piece, though. I'm sure you could take it off. I'm going to move this box. So you can see it's a very large, um, I'm going to call it a vehicle. <laughs> it's not a tractor for se, but it is a piece of equipment. So it's got little mirrors out here, real wide truck mirrors. It's also got mirrors up here on both sides. And it says Challenger up here on the cab. Um, 
I know Caterpillar makes a Challenger. I wonder if these have Challenger engines in them. Caterpillar makes a tractor that's called a Challenger, so it might have a Caterpillar engine in them. I don't know anything about these. I just see them. It's got the lug nuts in there. Looks like three of them. It's got a tank here. Got the steps who go up there. It's a interrogator. CVT. You can see part of the engine there. On the interior, we got a, a chair with some armrests. You can see the details inside of there. You could probably see them better if there wasn't a glare. Got a windshield wiper on the front. Uh, got a little orange light here. I assume this is some kind of GPS device. Not sure what this black thing is on the nose of the vehicle. Oh, it sits in a thing. There we go. I wonder why that was so loose. It says Air Max Precision on the back there. Again, mirrors and more smokestacks. There's a step here, I guess, to access some of the exhaust and engine and stuff. I don't know what else you would be getting up here for because you don't get in it on this side. Uh, it also has the model TG8300B. It's got this the uh, mount here that holds the sprayer arms in. That is die cast. So the fenders are die cast, the frame is die cast, the front here is all die cast, the back part. So it's a heavy casting. This cab might be die cast and then it's just stamped onto the plastic windows. It's got big rubber tires. I don't know if these are rubber or hard plastic. I'm still kind of deciding that. And let's see how this thing folds out. So you can see they're kind of V'd up at an angle when they fold up and then when they come down they flatten out like so and then you have the other part of the sprayer that folds out beyond that. So very, very wide. They don't really stay folded out very well. They kind of want to fold back in. I'm sure you could get them to stay folded out if you wanted to, though, if you had it like on a layout or something. Got a ladder back here. Got some lights. That's always a good thing to have. And this little loop thing here. So it does roll really well, like I mentioned. Sometimes for these real detailed things I like this, since they're not actually intended to be played with, obviously this would be not something you would want to give to a little kid as a toy. This is, A, it's very expensive, and B, it's just pretty fragile, a lot of these little pieces. Um, but sometimes when they're real nice like that, they don't always roll real well. This one rolls pretty good. It's got headlights, and I'm going to assume that's the interrogator emblem. So we'll put this on the turntable for you, and that will be the end of the video. Oh, uh, let me throw you something up here for comparison here. Here's a little Hot Wheel pickup truck. It's about a 164th scale. Yeah, that truck might be scaled a little bit bigger than a 164th scale. I don't actually have something that I know for sure is scale sitting with me right now, like no green lights or anything like that. But I honestly think that this truck's a little bit big sitting next to this. 
these things, these terrigator things are huge. And of course they drive in the field and they're, they're fertilizer trucks. They got great big balloon tires on them, kind of like monster truck tires. And, um, they, they take up more than the whole road. They do turn somewhat tight though for their size, especially with the uh, one wheel in the front there. We see many variations of these. You know, they're not all terrigators. They're not all three-wheeled. Some of them have four wheels. Some of them have a different configuration as well. So, just depends on who made, you know, who made the truck. So, like, comment, subscribe for more. Have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next video.